Hi there, this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Okay, today we will feature die-hard Arsenal fan Fran Atomi and his call for all Arsenal fans to get behind the club. Plus, as it is a Thursday, we will look at the latest results and standings in the English Championship. But first up, the Carlos Tevez saga update. After all that was revealed by Manchester City manager Roberto Mancini on Tevez's refusal to take the field, the Argentinian spoke to the media to say the dispute with his manager was a misunderstanding. Though he did not want to get into specifics, he said the dispute was not about his refusal to play, but it was about warming up. That's according to Tevez himself. Well, as it stands, the club has handed him a two-week suspension while they investigate the incident. The club's statement was posted on their official Facebook page and it got over 800 likes with some 400 plus comments. And just like every story, it has two sides. Carol Ann Dougal supports Tevez and comments that the player was frustrated being benched, not being given a start while is expected to bail the team out. Then there's Alexander Dominguez who comments that it was Tevez who put himself there. On the bench, that is, as every other day he has threatened to leave the club. I mean, if you're on the bench and your manager does this, you pull up your socks, string up your laces and take every opportunity to prove him and prove to him what you can do. Well, that's just me. If you need some more soap opera stuff, just head on over to the official Facebook page. Now we come to our friend, Fran Atomi. Earlier this week, he posted his latest update with a call to all Arsenal fans. I see so many people who are just so negative now about Arsenal. Yes, there are four problems with the team. Yes, we may be setting our best players, but yes, we also stand by this, 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 this team, man. In fact, this is a plea to all of your Arsenal fans that all of you are watching this video to stop the hate, you know, stop the booing, stop the bad chance. Yes, we have, yes, we are being screwed over, but we have to stand up now. This is our time, you know. I've, I've just learned. I, I went to go watch Fulham yesterday. Well, who, did they? Yeah, yeah. Go days ago. And it's like the fans were. They don't get Champions League, you know. They're playing in the Europa Cup. They don't. We. <laughs> they don't have the budget we do. They don't. You know, we don't make the money we do. But there's one thing that has and that club. The club has heart, you know. Apparently, they are the fans are some of the quietest in the league, you know. But me, even I got up and was sing on with them because you know, they're a close knit bunch. You know, they they love their players. They get behind their players. You know. Down the road, Tottenham Hotspurs, take, take the shot, now where again, you know? Go be Tottenham Hotspurs fan, you know? He did say down the road, Tottenham Hotspur fans, didn't he? Well, I believe he was referring to scenes like this. Well, it's the North London Derby this weekend, so all the best to you, friend Atomi, and I won't torment you. Not at least until the game is done. Okay, time for a quick look at the English Championship and first up a roundup of the weekend's and midweek results. Almost everyone was playing with crayons, lots of draws. Brighton and Leeds played to a scintillating three-all draw. Southampton earned a precious away point. Middlesbrough settled for a scholar stalemate and stayed unbeaten. But there were some home wins for Derby, West Ham, Portsmouth and Doncaster. Nottingham Forest bagged an away win, while the battle for, uh, for the Asian owners between Cardiff and Leicester ended in a draw. And there were some midweek fixtures too. Tuesday night saw West Ham going down at home to Ipswich. Brighton, who were top just a couple of weeks ago, succumbed to another loss, while Burnley hammered five past Nottingham Forest. And last night, Cardiff claimed a famous win over league leader Southampton, while Middlesbrough stay unbeaten despite earning a draw at home. And after all that, this is how they stack up. It's a three-way battle at the top, while Brighton slipped to fifth. And just look at the teams from eighth till twelfth, all tied on 13 points. And that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check out our website for an exclusive interview with former Cardiff player Kevin Cooper, who is now in Malaysia as the head of the One Malaysia Cardiff City National Football Development Programme. But until tomorrow, from the team and I, it's bye for now.